It's not very valuable, but there's a lovely story behind it. What's the story? Well, the story is, let me throw my bag. The story is that I, about 15 years ago, no, 12 years ago, I set sail from Fort Lauderdale in America to sail across the Atlantic. Ocean. And the next minute, I was like this. What had happened was I had gotten a splinter. <laughs> 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 and then what happened was the captain of the ship, he came up to me and he said, the best way to get a sprint out of your foot is with a tweezers. Then he let me keep it. So I keep that with me because it reminds me of my voyage across the Atlantic Ocean. Which all I'll say is that I can't value them with, with money. The value is in the shops, I think they're about 250. So. <laughs> Two, two pounds fifty. Is that sterling or euros? Sterling. That's all right, isn't it? Yeah. Hello, Spencer. Please come forth. Hello. Hello. I've been queuing for hours. Oh, That's all right, though. I know the expert. In the you... outfit, God. This is um, something I picked up in the early 90s. It had more of a sentimental feeling. It was the first time I cleaned my mouth for my first love with this. And now it just doubles up as it keeps my face in shape as the windows to my soul, which is my ojos. You see, and this is just the the end. Oh, the, so do you don't and use it for your teeth as no, well? No, no, no longer for my teeth, just like for I your say. Eyebrows. Exactly, because I can't let it go because of the sentimental thing. I was told in 1994 it was worth about £27,000. Well, I have to disappoint you. It is only worth about £2.50. <sighs> I'm so sorry. <sighs> No, it doesn't matter. I'm being generous there as well. It doesn't matter because it has an emotion. Carol. Right, this is my most valuable and treasured possession. That's beautiful. It's a necklace that I wear all the time. This is only the second time I've taken it off in the house. The other time was because I didn't want the maggots to get into it. About 100, about 100 pounds. But obviously, as it's more, or as it, it was the first thing that your lover ever gave you. Yes. It's worth a lot more. Yeah. So it's a, if somebody, if a man gave me that, and it was the first thing he ever gave me, especially if he looked like Mario, I would wear it all the time. <laughs> Hiya, Lauren. Hello, Charlotte. Charlotte. Nice to meet you. Just like here. Just to tell yeah, you. yeah. I'll let you off. I hope by the end, or you might know me name. I do know your name because it's my middle name. Oh, yeah. So... Yeah. I've brought me fried egg socks. Let us see them. Right, you tell me what... Uh... Right, so when I'd first met my boyfriend, we weren't official yet, we were only just um, seeing each other, we weren't boyfriend and girlfriend, and we used to stay at hotels together, but we never used to have sex. I waited, I waited a little while till I had sex with him. You know how you should, Lauren. Well, that's the way to be. That's the way to be. So then he'd give us them fried egg socks, and it was like... I think it was like the fifth time I'd seen and him. And a bit of a sign. What? A bit of a sign. It was a sign, that's what I'm trying to tell you. So he'd give us them and then I thought to myself, right, I had them on all day and I thought next time I go see him, I'm going to let him have a little bit. My evaluation to these would have to be, because they're more of a sentimental value, mm -hmm. so it won't be a price that's going to be very good, but it'll be... But you could put, because you could add the sentimental value on, which is a lot. You can't put men sentimental value when you're valuing something. OK. But I will give you a pound. A pound? OK, then. Thanks. I wish I could give you more, Charlotte, but... You could, you know. I could, but the thing is, if they're not worth anymore, but they are to you. Yeah, okay. you are actually. Must be because of everything that's going on. Okay, so this is Doug Bunny. Oh, he's so cute. And this is the first gift I ever got from my husband before I even met my husband. He sent me that in the mail, and that was the first thing I got. It was on Easter. Oh. And it means so much to me. Like I'd rather have that than like. The diamond rings on my fingers. Yeah. It means everything to me, and I can't sleep without them. You know, maybe like eight pounds. Yeah, I was going to say five. Yeah. You know, and I'm being, so I'm being generous there, but five pounds. Thank but he's you, worth sweetie. like thousands to you. Isn't he? Millions. He's priceless.
Um, Lauren, um, this is my item. It's a pair of Tweezman tweezers. Let's have a look. Um, they're quite priceless to me because as I'm getting older, I feel that I need to use them to try and keep myself pretty. You are pretty. Um, and sometimes I get little hairs on my chin oh, I do. that make me really upset and embarrassed. Oh. So I really need them to kind of pull them out so that people don't see them. So to me, they're really, really, really precious. Oh. Well, I'll give you a generous valuation. Thank you. I'll give you a four quid. Four, four hundred. Four quid. For, but Lauren, the, I couldn't live without them. It's very harsh, and I will still be your friend, but, um, you know, we're going to have to have a talk after this. How much is it worth? Hello. I've got a little something I've had for about oh, a couple of years. Uh, could use an expert opinion on it. So obviously this is quartz. Right. And you know these little stones? Yep. So they're in it. That is one, they cut the quartz stone out. Right. And they were still kept the pieces inside it. Right, okay. How old do you think it is? Well, I'd say it was about 10, 10 years old. Okay. £30. Pounds. Okay, that's exactly what I paid for it roughly, so I'm, I'm pretty happy. And that's second hand, so it's it good, is beautiful. Price. Thank you very much, I appreciate that. Absolutely. I'm going with this. Oh. And it's not priceless because it's not sentiment. It's infused with true love, which is more powerful than sentiment could ever be. You see, it's very difficult because it could be silver or it could be white gold. But because, did you get this in a foreign place? I, I was actually custom made by a jewelry maker. Right, so I'd say it was white gold. It's quite, quite weighty. So I'd say it was about 700. <laughs> Thank We're going you. on. I like it on me. There's nothing but Lauren should now describe the most valuable item she's seen today. And then place the item on the table and position the rosettes on it. You're a vegetarian, Lauren. I think of the eggs. Okay then, I think the most valuable item might be is going to be No, it might be yours, because of the spiritual ring. Destin's ring. Oh. Yeah! Yeah! Destin's ring's on the I want something.